All right. Good evening, First Covenant. Good evening, Pastor Dave. Really glad you're here, and I want to welcome you to what is the kickoff uh, time for uh, 40 Days of Community. And what I want you to do, if you would, if you'd take this little booklet out right now that you were handed, every person that came in should have received that. And if you didn't, it's in the, in the chair in front of you. I want you to get out a pencil, and I want you to kind of follow along. So a couple of years ago, in fact, it was two years ago these months that uh, our church went through what is called 40 Days of Purpose. And it was in that period of time that we were taught that we have, we have been created by God to be eternal beings, that life on earth is preparation for eternity. And we talked about the fact that life on earth is so quick, and then there comes eternity. And so we need to make sure that the, the life that we live here on earth has tremendous meaning. We talked about the purposes that God has created for us. We talked about the fact that we have been planned for God's pleasure, and that is called worship. Would you say that with me? That's called what? Worship. worship. We have been created for the purpose of worship. That we have been formed to be a part of God's family. And that's called fellowship. What's that called? Fellowship. That's called fellowship. That we have been created to become more and more like Jesus Christ. And that is discipleship. What is that? Discipleship. discipleship. We have been shaped for ministry and service. And that's called service. Would you tell me what that is? That service. And last of all, we were made for a mission. That means evangelism, to reach the lost. That's called evangelism. What's it called? Evangelism. The exciting thing is that as a part of that, that process, we continue to ask ourselves the question, what on earth am I here for? And a part of what we're going to learn over the next two months as we go through 40 days of community, that we can do those things better if they, we do them together. In fact, you'll see right there on, your, on the screen, you've got it right there on your bulletin, it says, better together, what on earth are what? We, we here for. What on earth are what? We, we here for. If we have been placed into a community and that we're to work together, it was kind of fun as uh, we were talking on our executive staff uh, over a month ago, and we were talking about this kickoff weekend and when we're going to talk about what's coming and so that people know what's, what is expected and, and how they can get the most of it. One of the things that we said, you know, we could show the video or we could have Pastor Ted do it. And as a part of that process, uh, we were talking, Jesse said, you know, Dad, I could, I could join with you and we could do it together. And that would, that would take a real load off of you having to do it together. And so Jesse and I, for the very first time, are going to have the opportunity to share together. And as I was looking at this, this, this uh, brochure and kind of getting my thoughts started, I was reminded Ecclesiastes 2 says, Two are better than one because they have a better return for their labor. And so we have an opportunity tonight to put right up in front of you as we go through this booklet and we go through the purposes and the activities of 40 Days of Community. You're going to see two people working together, and you can see how, how much easier it is for, for two people to do it than just one, and how, frankly, how much more entertaining it's going to be. You can say, yes, Pastor Ted. Actually, you should have said no, Pastor Ted. But anyway, I want you to notice 1 Corinthians 12, 27 there in your, in your inside, your first page, it says, all of you together are Christ's body. Would you say that with me? All of you together are Christ's body.